Hello, greetings, people, vinyl lovers, and Vinyl Richie. This is a reply, Vinyl, vinyl Richie, to your um, video regarding um, categorizing or storing your albums, I think it was, and what was the best way. But anyway, there is no best way, really, is there? For everybody's different. Um, so, anyway, I thought I'd do a quick whiz through my system. Won't I? Ruby, come on, off you go. Yeah, anyway, so what I'll do is um, I'll grab the camera and uh, show you my layout. In the background, playing away noisily, we have a little bit of Illich 10 Suicides reissue album. So, this is my hi fi cabinetry which I had built, and I put in a couple of shelves at the bottom uh, ready for records. This is my New Zealand music collection, as well as those ones over there which are waiting to be cleaned and added to Discogs. Um, the ones at the top are the newest arrivals and they have been listed on Discogs when I could, uh, and, but not cleaned because I've run out of cleaning fluid. But anyway, as I said, this is my New Zealand collection right through here. Um, plus those little seven inches, which is about the only seven inches I own. I don't collect seven inches per se. I'm not really that keen on it. Um, there are some New Zealand ones I would love to get my hands on because it's just the only way you can get a hold of the music anyway. Um, out here is my record cabinet. And I bet you the light's not gonna turn on. Yes, it is. So, I've got nine cubes, if I can get a shot of it, um, which I had made up, so I haven't got a huge collection. Um, but I categorize, no, I store mine, they're not perfectly set up, but basically what I've done is I've set them up into different types of collections. So as I said, I've got my New Zealand collection out there in the, in the stereo cabinet. Um, up here, this is all of the blue notes. Because I collect certain types of records and certain labels and certain which I'll get to in a minute certain types yeah um so I have a I have a blue note collection here and this is apart from those I got my my wife has stuck a whole bunch of her records in here at the moment until such times as I can get them out um I did have them stored somewhere and she decided she wanted to use this as well um so so we've got blue note up here We've got ECM here, so I've got about, what, 35 to 40 blue notes. These are the reissues from the 75th anniversary reissues program. Um, haven't actually bought any for a wee while. I'll need to get back onto that. This is my ECM collection, uh, most of this at the moment. Um, again, I, I pick up ECMs mainly when I find them. I don't really go online and buy them. Um, but I've got about... 60 odd now I suppose and then there's a few other bits at the end um, so then down here I have jazz and blues uh, yeah dollar brand so that's the jazz and blues section not a lot of blues in there Herbert Laws Afro Classic uh, Bill Crosby that's my partner's records so she's got some of her stashed in here my blues uh, and jazz selection is still reasonably small billy hart miles davis um yeah and you can see box sets sitting up there and then um the next cube is 70s 60s and 70s mainly um yeah inter international submarine band i'll get the camera focused Cybertron, yeah, so this is 60s and 70s, um, and then, and then this is, uh, yeah, 80s and 90s, I think, and more contemporary sounds, it's, it's a little bit mishmash at the moment because, A, of the lack of room for certain things, and because we've got, my wife's got all her records stashed in here, what was this section? 
that's one of my partners. That's one of my partners. I can't remember what's in this section. Oh, okay, this is all of my partner's records. So she's taking up that bin at the moment, and then she's, and then down here is all my all our classical collection which to be honest I, I'm trying to get rid of I don't we don't listen I don't listen to them she wanted to keep a whole lot we got given most of them um, I mean they're not worth anything they sell them in the shops for like 50 cents each but we were given given all of those um, so yeah and here is my 80s chess jankle wise blood and and I think some contemporary stuff Les Lincoln Leakin, and then down here I have a compilation section so pretty much all of that apart from the end is that again that's my wife's stuff but all of those are compilations I like collecting compilation records I have a lot of compilation records um, that I really really um, enjoy uh, various artists compilations of various types um, you know most of these I've shown cosmic machine and then there's the blood stains across the UK backstage passer punk ones another punk punk 45 then the soul jazz ones um, my sonic youth collection is is stuck in here because I haven't got anywhere else to put it just now sonic youth and swans but the rest of this is classic rock Beatles stones Floyd Young, Neil Young, more Pink Floyd, more Pink Floyd, more Pink Floyd, more Neil Young, bit of Led Zeppelin. So yeah, pretty much all of that sort of stuff. Um, I haven't actually alphabeticalised them within those areas just yet um, because this is the only cabinet I've got. I haven't really got a huge amount, so I just keep them. Um, I can find things fairly easy, although the ECMs are actually in numbered order as an ECM. Um, series is, uh, of their um, what do you call it their catalogue numbering and I'll probably do something similar with the uh, Blue Note once I once I clean out my missus' records out of this lot of cabinetry and I can redistribute some of them so yeah that's that's how I'm intending to so I also have, I'm also looking into and I've already started there's um there's the nurse with wound list of records which is a pretty big list of um, types of artists and records and I've been starting to collect some of that stuff that's pretty bizarre stuff um, I mean with the nurse with wound records themselves I think there's some of them shoved in here yeah like Red Noise Mandingo there's the nurse with wound a couple of nurse with wound records um, there's another Illich album who are playing out in the background at the moment um, there's so some of those are there and there's some more of those up here uh, Magma, which I've all shown before, and I think there's my uh, Igor Wakevich series. So I'm intending to um, collect a lot more of that sort of stuff as time goes by, so they will end up in their own cube, but a lot of that stuff I have to get off disc Discog. And, and my CDs, my CD collection is pretty much a similar setup, to be honest. Along the top shelf, I've got all my New Zealand CDs, um, in alphabetical order and then after that is just basically general rock and pop and indie or whatever um, so that pretty much fills up the rest of that case and then over here I've got um, New Zealand Jazz at the top section there which is a, a rattle records I've been collecting all of their stuff um, the rest of that is mostly blues compilations and blues albums so I've got the blues stuff about two shelves of that and it, all the rest of those are compilation cds down the bottom there um of all sorts of various types of music but mainly oh there's a whole bunch of african ones there's some proggy type ones there's indie rock country uh, alt country ones all sorts um, funk there's some of those buddha bar ones there's all sorts of really to actually be interesting in there and then all my uncut cds down in there and then again a genre specific over here is pretty much all of my jazz CDs um, mostly Sun Ra at the top is all Sun Ra um, and then the next down next row down well the next three rows down one two three four rows down are all John Zorn and Zadok records his label so 
uh, a lot of the Zadok label artists sit that top second row down third row down is all Masada and John Zorn's film works the third row down is a lot of the classical type stuff off Zadok records and stuff like that and then the last second to last oh, third row up is all John Zorn he's got a huge discography of CDs not much of it on vinyl really and then a little bit of yeah and then jazz jazz stuff down there I haven't got a huge collection of jazz stuff really which is enough to keep me happy though a bit of ECM stuff of course and then right down the bottom is a mixture of jazz and modern modern classical like Steve Reich and Philip Glass and things like that I don't have much older classical look apart from what we had out there so that's pretty much my order of things um, it's a little bit chaotic it's not in the biggest best of order but I do know where most things are within reason so there we go